Hey guys, been working on uh, the wiring some. Got the dash lights all hooked up, got everything working there, turn signals working. Got the rear tear lights just set in there, got them working. Uh, let me flip around here. Alright guys, got the tail lights all in. Got them hooked up so they're working. Had to take this one back out. Just got some quick connects on them, so take them in and out till we get them all set. Jack came over and did a little bit more on this quarter here. It's looking pretty good. Looks like there's a dent right here, but I think it's just dust. We put sand in. Look pretty good. Got the plastic on it, trying to keep some of the dust out of the inside. Got the dash, everything's working right. Gas gauge comes up to just under a quarter, so hopefully it's working right. Getting ready to set the front end back on it. It's right over here. Start uh, making up some brackets for the tilt. Figure out how I'm gonna do it. Might go get some uh, door locks or trunk locks out of a cart junkyard and maybe make it so when it comes down, when it comes down right here, make it so it locks on and have a cable come around so you can pull, unleash it. Do the same on the other side, have a, have one. Be nice if I could hook the two cables together so you just pull on one side and it pop, pop up, and flip. Just flip the front end up. Let's see what we can come up with. Uh, we'll get started here. Yeah, try to get that thing drug over here. Might see if I can call somebody, see if they can stop by and help me lift it up so I don't break it worse than it's already broke. All right, be back here in a minute. Hey guys, back here. Got the front end set back on. We're just sit here and try to get this tilt front end made up. Got a bracket here, did some CAD work. So this is pretty much gonna sit there like that. Oops, get it up here. Set there up there like that. This bolt here will go in. So then that'll tilt up like that. This piece, let me get this off. It'll look like this here when it's done. So that's gonna go in there, up there like that. So what we gotta do is take it over here, put it on the piece of steel, I'm gonna put it down there and draw it out, cut it out. And we'll just take our hammer and we'll go. All right, like that. Get them all cut out. Now we gotta clean them up. Get some stuff drilled. We'll be back here in a little bit. Get them done. Okay guys, this is what I got so far. Take a shot like that. I put a stop right here. Made a little bushing. So I raise up. It's my uh, jug I got right now. So, looks like it's moving all right. I think that bracket is strong enough. I might go from here down with like a brace, weld it in. 
We'll see. Furnace shouldn't be all that heavy. But, there's a little shim behind there. Oops, sorry. A little shim behind there. Might turn a bolt down, get like maybe a shoulder bolt or something so it don't tight up, tighten up all the way in here. Works pretty good. Probably might put a stop up here too. That way when it comes forward, it'll hit stop up here. We'll get that done. We'll get back, we'll get some more done here. Next, probably start bending the tubes to go up around to the firewall. All right, catch you back in a minute. Hey guys, been working on the front end. Got it set back on there. Look like it's setting pretty straight. Uh, made up a bracket in the front here. I'll set, set you guys back here. You, can, you guys can watch it uh, raise up. See what you think, and I'll bring you back in for a closer view. I think right about there. Looks like you guys are setting sideways. You guys are setting sideways. There you go. There you go. All right. So, lifts up pretty easy. Got a, let me get you off this stupid tripod. Hold on. All right, there we go. Ah, made those brackets right here. You can see, put a stop in right here so it comes down. We've got a stop in back here so when it comes up. Pretty simple, just brought it up. Made, Four hood pins holds it holds it to the bracket, so we can take the fiberglass front end off the bracket if we want. Probably gonna go in here and put a gusset from here to here. Do that on that side, and I don't know if you guys can see. Probably do a uh, gusset from. Let me get my hand here. From there, to like there, and the radius is over there. I'm like there. To there that works better yeah do a gusset in there probably punch some holes in it, dimple dye it but it's pretty windy out right now i don't know if you guys see the car shake when the wind hits it but works out pretty good like that not a whole lot of weight there i'm probably gonna let me set set this back down get, get you guys right back here you guys back you're probably going to uh take and cut this front fender go from about right here just go up like that cut it right up to this notch right here just come all the way down like that cut that off and we'll mount this solid to the uh firewall and then that way we don't have to worry about the door gaps and the doors getting all chipped up if we ever paint it all up or something so got that done my buddy Phil stopped over and helped me last couple days lift the front end on and off and thinking around making brackets it looks like it's setting pretty level in the front this side over here is I don't know if it's like warped from the sun or something but push down on it this down I have to make that bend that bracket down a little bit but let me set back here get the whole car in the picture doesn't look too bad about the right height there probably I don't know it's looking all right had to cut out the back Back here, so the air cleaners will spill. Somebody had a scoop on it at one time, and so I gotta get all that stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna go in and fill this hole back in, so I can cut this out nice and neat, so it doesn't look too much like 
I did it in the first place. Try to make it look a little better. It's got little holes like this all over. Up here in the front, there's holes there. So gotta get headlight buckets cut out and the grill cut out. So there's plenty of work to do on this front end yet. I just wanted to get it mounted and make it so it could raise up and down. And Look all right here, you guys see something. All right, that's enough uh, jabbing for right now. There's those stops you can see up here. Just made, drilled into the frame. I tapped the frame and put nuts on the back side. All right, be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn the lights on. Okay, I got that on. All right, let's go shut the lights off in the building so we can see how the dash lights and stuff shine tail lights are on make sure I don't fall here get the windows open over there but you can see in here still all right that's on looks all blurry to me but I ain't got my glasses got those lights on Let's uh, try the caution lights, see how they work. Hey. Works all right. Shining on the light. Looks better shining off the door. Well, those work. Turn signals work. To the right side. Oh. There's the right side. It works. Oh, well, that's working good. Go back. Let me shut the lights off. All right. I'm going to go back over here and I'll turn the lights on. Sorry, you guys. I ain't seeing nothing but dark, but. Sometimes you gotta suffer. All right, guys. It's Sunday. I don't know what time. It's later in the evening. Just uh, getting ready to go in, do some editing. Try to get this video up for you guys. Get something out. It's probably, uh, I got tomorrow off. Well, everybody probably does. It's Monday. Memorial Day or no, what is it? Labor Day. No, I don't know. September holiday. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and edit this and uh, get this up for you guys and start working on the next one. So, you guys have a good week. Enjoy the rest of the holiday. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Peace!